Now that we've got our diagram ready, we can move on to part B. And so if I scroll down a little bit here, we see part B asks us to calculate the separation between the charges. Now in this particular case, it's easy because on the x-axis, all we have to do is make note of the individual positions and then the distance between them is simply the difference between those two positions. So 0.45 meters minus 0.15 meters, which is 0.3 meters. You should be able to figure that out fairly quickly. Again, if you need to, draw your little tick marks in there so you can see more clearly that that's the separation between the charges.